Hi and welcome to this episode. Today we're trying to figure out what works best between the well-known evaporust and vinegar. I have these four wheel hubs from my beautiful Subaru Justy and as you can see these are yeah, very crusted. I have used some degrees around them so there shouldn't be too much grease. I'll wipe out, wipe out the leftovers but yeah it'll be a fair comparison. So that'll be one with vinegar, one with evaporust, one with electrolysis. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the rubber. It should not attack the rubber, but uh, yeah, we'll see. There's a well-known odor to this one. <laughs> For the last one we'll use electrolysis, I think that's the word. So then you will need just some tap water, water. You will need something to make the water conduct electricity better. So this is a motion detergent. I think you can use salt as well, so we'll probably put in that. A sacrificial piece of metal, something you want the rust to move on to. As you can see I've previously used it. I'll use the other side now and a battery charger. Let's go. So I just attached the piece of patent bone as we say in Norway. And now we should plug in the power and just see what happens. Supply. I do believe it makes Nitrogen and um, no hydrogen, 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 and something else. Nice. Thing of beauty. I'll just toss it really quick in the ultrasonic cleaner. Then we can view some results. So it's been roughly about 24 hours, a bit more than 24 hours. I did take out the one with the electrolysis. So I'll show you that part soon. Let's pick these up. I'll then throw them in the ultrasonic cleaner just to clean them up a bit. You can clearly see that the water in the vapor rust or the water in the fluid is much more dirty. Yeah. So something has happened to this. It's not uh, rust free per se, but something has happened. The bushing is untouched, I guess. I should maybe I've cleaned off my gloves before I. Now there's some vinegar in this, but okay. On this one, it has happened a lot. It seems like the only thing left on this is some old paint. This this seems as good as rust free. So that's really impressive. Okay, let's toss them in the ultrasonic cleaner and compare them. So here they go in. The water isn't. Well, 
So it's just 28 degrees, but I'll just start it with that heating up. I added a small zip tie to this just to tell the difference. I will believe I can tell it anyway, but better safe than sorry. Have to do it with the lid. And for a bit. The noise is terrible, so prepare for silence in three, two, one. The vinegar one first. That's pretty hot. I'll dry it up and throw it in good lighting. Evapor rust. This is clearly the best part. Damn. <laughs> There's a thunderstorm coming, but that's okay. So I now have the results ready. You can see this is the one with the vinegar, or that was in the vinegar. This is the part that laid in the evapor rust. And this was electrolysis. Just a spare one. So, as you can see, most happened maybe in the this, in this container. Also, the evaporist turned black. But I haven't put stuff in there afterwards and it still works, so it's just changing color, I guess. The same thing goes with the vinegar. It was clear, it's now more like apple juice, I guess. But to be fair, there is one true winner here, and that is the evaporus. That is just flawless. The only thing left on this piece is paint, because it doesn't touch the paint. Also, the bushing is mint condition still. It hasn't happened anything to that, neither in the evaporus or in the vinegar. It didn't do much. It did do something, I guess. But not much has happened. Gone. That's thunder, so if it goes black you'll know why. Oh my god. <laughs> the part in the electrolysis is also very good, I have to say. It's uh, still some pieces, uh, there's still some corrosion left, but this is very good and I could also have left it in here for a bit longer and it probably would be even better. But the seal itself has some, I don't know, it's darker the steel, so something is up with that, but all in all pretty good. It's, uh, the electrolysis is the cheapest, but it's the most fuss or most stuff where it's most work and I don't want to leave it per se. Although it's most likely safe, but uh, yeah, that's my opinion. So the apparatus is... It's good.